there was hardly any difference between the economic vision of Modi and uh, the neoliberal agenda of UPA. Now it has become even worse. I think Modi intends to implement precisely the same agenda even more ruthlessly. He has now put forward a proposition that income tax, corporate tax be scrapped and replaced by a transaction tax. Now, these two are direct taxes in which you can tax the rich uh, at a higher rate, progressive taxes, and he wants to do away with progressive tax. Uh, it is most retrogressive measure that you can uh, suggest. And he also wants to do away with uh, the indirect taxes. Now the VAT tax, that is within the domain of the state government, he has no local standing. Uh, even if BJP uh, worst case scenario comes to power, they would have no right to touch upon the VAT tax of the states. Now, speaking about uh, the tax measures, BJP has been stalling GST and now Modi has become the votary of GST without even a condition being suggested that the state's rate tax rate must be higher so that uh, they are compensated for the historic loss they have been uh, suffering. Um, and interestingly, there is only one point in which BJP and Congress in the last five years differed when it came to economic agenda. That was with respect to the foreign direct investment in retail. BJP voted against it. Now reading through the script of uh, Modi speech at the traders meet in Delhi where he speaks about eloquently for the traders uh, to become more competitive. It is very evident uh, BJP is going to permit uh, um, FDI even in the retail and therefore let's have no doubt that um, BJP under Modi is going to pursue uh, even more vigorously and ruthlessly the same agenda that has been implemented in India uh, for the last two decades. Um, but his big point is the Gujarat model. You see. Um, in fact, I would say coming from Kerala, it's not Gujarat that is the model, but Kerala of the left uh, that is the model for India. Um, Gujarat has grown fast, but so has generally all of the India, uh, many other states. Uh, um, in fact, between Kerala and Gujarat, there is only two percentage point difference in the growth rate, which has disappeared in the most recent years. Um, but the difference between Gujarat and Kerala is, while in Gujarat, this big growth has had no impact upon the life of the average citizens. It has only gone to enrich uh, the big money.